Today we are making low carb sushi, specifically Philadelphia rolls. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are a cucumber, full fat cream cheese, and smoked wild salmon. I love sushi, I always have. In high school, I worked at a sushi restaurant. I feel like it's one of those things that you either love or you hate. I have found a way to get all that sushi flavor without any of those sushi carbs that come with all that rice. We are going to start with a cucumber. And we need to peel our cucumber. I am using my Joseph & Joseph peeler that I love and I've done a review on that I will link below. And we're just gonna peel all of the skin off. And we're gonna cut off both ends. And this part can be a little tricky, but don't be intimidated. It doesn't have to be perfect. It won't affect the taste. We're gonna start with the cucumber and the knife sideways. And we're just gonna cut this very, very thinly in a circle. Kids, don't do this at home. It's dangerous. You need a sharp knife. Ask your parents. And you just keep cutting until you reach the seeds and you're gonna be left with a strip like this. If you've ever had a roll that was done like this at a sushi place, you might notice it's a lot thinner, but this is about as good as I can get it at home and it does the job just fine. So we're gonna set that aside and you can pitch these or cut them up or do whatever you want with them, save them for a smoothie. Now that we have the hard part out of the way, the rest is cool as a cucumber. You're gonna take a block of cream cheese and then we're just gonna cut a very thin slice off the end. About that big. We're gonna place that right inside our cucumber. And then Philadelphia rolls use smoked salmon. If when you buy your smoked salmon, please make sure that it is wild. And I also feel more comfortable telling you guys to make sushi at home with smoked salmon because it's already cooked. And I'd feel really, really awful if any of you got sick from a recipe that you were making of mine. Usually when you buy smoked salmon, it comes already cut in very thin slices, which is perfect for what we need. So pull that out and just take a couple of your slices and lay it right on top of your cream cheese. Look how beautiful that is. What did the salmon say when it swam into a wall? Damn. You could also do this with raw salmon if you so choose. Just make sure that it is sashimi grade. And then come sashimi and tell me about it sometime. So once you have everything in your cucumber, you're just gonna push it to one end and roll it up. And we're just gonna slice it into a few pieces. I like mine pretty thick. And if you're strange like me, you have sushi plates. Go ahead and plate yours up really pretty. This makes a great lunch or snack or appetizer for guests. It's really pretty and impressive. So that's how I roll. There you go guys, they're cute little sushi rolls and they have pretty much no carbs. This part's totally optional, but you can go ahead and garnish them with a little dollop of sriracha for some heat and serve them with some soy sauce for dipping. Sushi and soy sauce are soy happy together. And that is all there is to making some low carb sushi. So that's all for today guys. If you make this recipe, be sure to shoot me a picture on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. I would love to see your sushi rolls and get creative. If you have different things to put in your sushi rolls, throw them in there. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. We're dog sitting for a dog that's even bigger than Rex, so he's kind of just hanging out and head reaches the countertop. I rummaged through my closet and this was the only Asian inspired shirt I owned. I thought it was kind of like kimono-ish. Not that kids would be making sushi. Or give the cucumbers to your dog because they just love them. And there's your sushi. You okay, bud?